Hey guys, it's Roxy and today I'm coming to you with a little bit of crazy hair and I wanted to walk through my meal prep and grocery shopping ritual with you guys. Uh, so the reason that I wanted to do that is just because a lot of you were curious on how to get started with meal prepping and instead of writing, you know, this big post, um, I, which I've done in the past, I just thought I, that I would vlog my uh, routine with you and just let you know what I go through in terms of grocery shopping. So I go grocery shopping every Tuesday, and the reason for that is I got a couple of reasons. Uh, I have a little bit of a lower client load on Tuesdays, and basically my grocery store is cheaper on Tuesdays. So I just uh, take advantage of the deal, and so I do that on Tuesdays, and after I grocery shop, I put in time to immediately meal prep right afterwards. The reason why I do that is uh, just to sort of log it in my mind that I have completed the task and that I have a full week of meals prepared for myself. So now I'm going to take you guys through what I buy in a typical week. Um, it's not always this meal, uh, but um, I try to stick to basically the same, adding in whatever is on sale at the grocery store. So um, another reason that I do my meal prep on Tuesdays is because I get my eggs fresh from a local um, egg farm. So she delivers on Tuesdays to my clinic. So I just make sure to grab at least a dozen eggs eggs because I definitely go through uh, at least a dozen every single week. Um, so I just put that in my container and then put that back into the fridge. Uh, so we've got a cantaloupe this week. Um, I was looking for honeydew or watermelon, but they were both so expensive. So I just decided to go with cantaloupe instead. I've got some mushrooms here, which I always love to have as a side. Cucumber uh, for my salads, banana for a snack, and then I've got some jazz apples here, um, which are typically, I was super excited because they're typically not in uh, season until late summer, um, and they are my favorite apples of all time. Uh, I've got some grapes. So I actually grow my own greens. Uh, so that means it's not really typical for me in the summertime to purchase my greens, but they had this at the grocery store. It is, let me just take a look here. So this is from Canada. It's actually from Alberta, from Coaldale, Alberta. It's uh, a crispy and crunchy trio by a company called Living Lettuce, and it's a local company and it was on sale, and it is just so beautiful and crunchy, so I just had to get that. And you get a little side of chickpeas as a little snack, so decided to get those uh, just to fill up, and we can also have a couple more salads uh, for our dinner time this week, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, strawberries are my favorite fruit, so I always make sure to get two of those, especially in the summertime, they're so much cheaper. Uh, I've got some lemons here. I've got some yogurt because uh, for a quick breakfast, um, I always try to have granola yogurt and maybe like raspberries or something, which we don't have raspberries this week, so I'll definitely have some strawberries with that. Uh, this is a little bad, uh, but this is a cheese spread that's from France and they had it in stock at the grocery store, which they normally never do, so I'm actually gonna freeze those. Just need to have that. I have some bread here. It's not the greatest bread, not multi-grain or anything like that. Um, I just have it for a quick snack if I need a quick carb. Um, if I'm going on a bike ride or something, I'll have a piece of toast with some peanut butter on it. Um, so now we come to the protein. So I've got some uh, free-range chicken here. I've got some sliced wings uh, because I'm going to have some wings for dinner uh, sometime this week. So I'm going to marinate those. Um, I've also got some extra lean ground chicken, which was actually only $3 uh, because technically the best before date is today, which I don't care because I cook up my meals right away. This does not stay in the fridge. I cook it up right away and then I'm perfectly good. And then I've got my typical uh, free range chicken as well uh, from the grocery store. Uh, I've got some egg and, uh, not egg, <laughs> milk and cereal here. Uh, not the healthiest cereal, uh, not the healthiest uh, milk, but I love just dairy milk. So um, I'll have that a couple days as a snack. Uh, typically I always go for fresh 
broccoli and cauliflower but they literally had none at the grocery store today they had no cauliflower at all and their broccoli was like organic and it was like eight dollars a head and i was like no that's not happening so sometimes you have to make the economical choice and you know i try to avoid the frozen food aisle as much as possible i usually just skip it at the grocery store but this time i had to go down and get that I've got some juice, uh, just some 100% no sugar added juice just because uh, sometimes at night I like to have uh, you know, a glass of juice with dinner. Um, I wanted to also show you guys, I did cheat. I got a little bit of some chocolate chip cookies um, and I wanna show you this just to let you know that your trainer is not perfect. Sometimes she wants cookies at night and I just try to limit myself. Um, I don't keep a stock of anything bad in my cupboards. So once this is eaten, it is gone for the week. I do not go back out and repurchase. So um, I also have some glass containers. Um, I was just missing a few because I broke some last week. So I went and just picked some of those up too. All right, and that is my grocery shop. So now I'm just gonna put the camera down and you can see what I'm going to meal prep. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is cut and store away all of my produce because I prepare my meats and my proteins first on meal prep day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start the oven at 350 and I'm going to put away my produce while that's happening. Okay, so I just put all the produce in the fridge, started the oven, about to prepare the poultry, but I just thought that I'd show you what my fridge looks like. So this is an overview of the fridge. I've chopped everything up um just for ease um if everything is nice and easy and accessible you're most you're most likely to eat it so i've got my cantaloupe there my um you know cucumbers i've got some boiled eggs back there that i just prepared yesterday and then all my leaves that i'm gonna use and then you know apples and such are just down there so there's my friend so i am going to start preparing my uh chicken wings first um, my normal recipe, which is honey, mustard, garlic, salt and pepper, and uh, some poultry seasoning. That is it. I have created my meal prep here. I've got my salads right there. Um, it took me maybe an hour and a half to do everything. I'll just show you what's in the fridge here. I've got all of this extra chicken. This is gonna make at least two to three meals. I've got some ground turkey in the back there. Again, that's gonna make two to three meals. And then I've got some chicken wings, which we will have, um, they're marinating right now, but we will have for dinner probably tomorrow night or the night afterwards. So I've got all my meals for this week, all the protein. I've got my carbs here, so this is coconut rice. Um, and then sometime this week, I also have an extra yam, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some yam chips for a side over there. But um, it's pretty easy. I've got all of my, um, you know, uh, lunches over there and then when i get up in the morning i just grab a container i'll grab some strawberries some grapes an apple uh maybe a banana and then that's pretty much it for my day and then i come back and i don't need to worry about cooking i have everything right there
Thanks for joining. If you have any questions about meal prepping, that was you know, just pretty much a basic meal prep, nothing too fancy. You got your proteins, you got your carbs, and then everything else, basically the hardest part is this, this hour and a half, cutting up all your vegetables and your fruits, and then having them for easy access. I just wanted to let you guys know as well, so those greens, those crunchy greens that I um, purchased today, I didn't realize that they still had the root balls on them. So I've gone ahead and dug up a pot that I have downstairs and I have actually replanted it. So I am going to have even more greens for the rest of the summer. Um, and so they're outside in a pot right now. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me and I will see you next time.